We're gonna do a live sales call today where I sell a twelve or thirteen thousand dollar project in a little under five minutes or so. What I'd like you to watch is how I pre-qualify the customer and make sure that they're ready to pull the trigger before I drive out to their so job site and finalize all the details. So let's get this phone call started. Okay. Hey. There's that better. All right. Can you hear me, Barbara? I can. Oh, perfect. Okay, so you have a concrete swimming pool and you have a fence around it, which is very typical. All Actually, all swimming pools have fences around them. By so, law. By so, law. Yep, yep. So no worries there. Um, and like I told you, we specialize in removing swimming pools, both concrete and vinyl lined. I can get you a ballpark quote right over the phone. Which means that what I'll do is I'll get you the generalized pricing that we typically charge for removing a concrete swimming pool. And then if that's something that you want to pursue, I'll actually come out to your site. I'll meet with you. We'll go over the conditions, which is the, the only conditions that really vary on these swimming pools are the size of the swimming pool and then the accessibility. The accessibility, we don't actually drive trucks into the swimming pool. We usually work off from the closest street. So it's the routing that, that uh, is important, especially with a concrete swimming pool. Because they're one of the, the most fortified structures, at least in the state of Minnesota, it takes specialized equipment to remove them. And we have big equipment that we have to get in and out, back and forth, time and time again. So we, the routing is a pretty important factor. So just to get you started down the road, how we work is the very first thing I tell you, Barbara, is we pull a permit. We do have to pull a permit and have two inspections in St. Louis Park. We have to have what we call a bottom of pool inspection. That's after we've removed everything, we've cleaned it out, there's no debris left behind. We have the inspector come out to the site and then they verify that all of the material is gone. It's called clean bottom, okay? We bowl the site, we make sure that it's safe, we make sure that we can get gain access to it and have all the materials removed. Then we start backfilling. When we backfill, we backfill with clean, compactable soil. And as we're placing the soil, we're actually compacting it. We're either going to be using compression compaction or we're going to be using vibratory plate compaction. What the difference is, it depends on what your site conditions dictate. If you have wetter conditions, we go with compression compaction. If it's drier, we use vibratory compaction. Okay? And if I lose you at any point, Barbara, just let me know. Say, hey, Stan, I got a question for you. What about this? What about that? Okay? Um, we bring it up to the top. As we get closer to the top, we're compacting it every 6 to 12 inches or so. It just depends on where that lift happens to fall. Okay? But we've learned through doing pool after pool after pool that if we actually don't stop compacting, you're not going to be able to grow grass on your lawn. So as we get closer to the top, we try to lighten up on the compaction. And then we switch over and at the very end of the job, we bring in one load of pulverized screened black dirt. And then we machine finish grade that into the site. Okay. The final inspection comes after the site is seeded or sodded. The city wants to see vegetation um, reestablished on your site. The average concrete swimming pool for removal and filling is $12,900. That does not include the permit fee. So that permit fee will usually be one to three hundred dollars. Yeah. We, um, I can stop out if you, if the twelve thousand nine hundred dollars is okay with you. Then what I'll do is I'll stop out to your site. I'll look at the conditions, verify everything, get your final numbers, which will be very close to what we just discussed, laid out for you, and then you can decide if you want to remove the swimming pool or not. Okay. Well, if I do that, that's fine. But if you guys are booked up. Right, we are booked out to the fall, and any company that's good is going to be booked out. Um, so we have maybe one spot left this year, maybe two. I'm not 100% sure on how many spots we have left. Depends on what uh, happens with our other projects, how much the weather cooperates. 
But otherwise, it, I know for sure within a week or two weeks, we're going to be booking out for next year. So let me know if this video has helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Do you guys do this? I know on lawn maintenance jobs, I do it all the time. I have customers that have a lawn that needs to be cut. I give them a price over the phone before I ever go out to their site. I ask them simple questions, small, medium, large, fenced, unfenced. I do it with retaining wall projects. I do it with paver projects. I do it with grading projects. I do it with every project I possibly can. I try to get a vision of what they need done, and I try to give them a scope of work and suggested prices. And if they're okay with it, from that point forward, I go out to their site. Yes, I do lose some jobs right away. That's the purpose. You don't want everybody to go, oh, yeah, yeah, let's come on out, because you're going to get those people that are just... just wasting your time you want to screen this is a screening process this is designed to get rid of the tire kickers and get get you in front of the people that are ready to sign on the dotted line so now i need to hear from you guys does this work for you have you ever used something like this and if so where and when share your stories in the comments down below and if possible share the love spread this video around help other people understand what we're trying to cover here um, I'll, as always, I hope you guys know I, I only want the best for you guys. I love you guys. You guys, my audience, you guys inspire me. You drive me. You motivate me. So what do you want to see next? Please let me know. Take care. Now, get back to work.